All righty, we are back in this room. I have saved my game. Basically just walked back here uh, so that we could do this. Only took me a few minutes. Come on. There we go. Pendant. Boop. Then I fall. Got an experience point. And so that's the ship that was found off the coast of Los Angeles. We learned the name of it. Uh, the Elizabeth Dane. This is an interesting lighthouse. I didn't know LA really had lighthouses. <laughs> and then finally we're back here. And look, there's still all that magical flame. Do I want to go down here? Is that what I want? I do want the fire axe. I forgot to grab that. Uh, oh yeah, this is where we want to go, right? Then I can jump. Ah! That could have been bad. I don't know, actually. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, here it is. This is where we were supposed to go. Okay, good. We got the locket. Let's look at that in our inventory. Oh, Astrolite. We still have that. Powerful explosives. Okay. His exquisite pendant looks polished, though it was once found in the charred ruins of the Ocean House. When you hold it in your palm for a few seconds, you're overwhelmed with a sense of profound sadness. That was easy. I like this music. It's rat time. We gotta suck some rat. That's the sound effect. <laughs> Crux says, this guy's sucking rat live on stream. You're damn right. I like to suck rat, and I'm not afraid to say it. Once again, got the volume.
Okay. Okay, I just have to talk so that it drowns out the audio. I like this picture a lot. Uh, all right, let's do this. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to press that. Uh, let's see. How many experience points do I have? I have five. Eh. It might be helpful when talking to Jeanette. Let's see, what, what can we put things into? I do want to make sure that I have more of the... I could put it in a dementation to get mass, but com combat hasn't been much of a concern yet. It's not too big of a deal. We have one in dodge now. I guess I could put it in appearance to get seduction. I want to put things more in these social attributes so I can get more dialogue options, but... Yeah, let's do it. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Uh, All of myself are intoxicated with you, white mistress. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. You haunt my dark dreams, and what deeds do I do in your own? What all suede kittens do. On hands and knees, you lap up the milk of me. And we purr, kitten, like dragonflies buzzing around frog bellies. Purr. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Your sister only receives this treasure. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? You stole the words from my head. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Hmm. My heart is open, but your hand will not contain your desire. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? Um, hmm. Forgiveness, white daughter, but this is for the other only. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Alrighty. Uh. What deed do you propose? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. For you, I would face the flame at noontime. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do here? What do I want to say to her?
So slashing is now my existence. That is just yes. You free the worm after these slashings is is the pay me option, I think. Uh hmm. I don't steal the offerings of innocence. Not really true. But hmm. let's see. You free the worm after these slashings. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. All right. I th will think only of you as I slash these splatterings. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, well. Have fun, Declan. We will. You can't hide from all righty. Me. Now we just go down to the first floor. I should have read her email again. Oops. That's fine. All right. Uh, I don't remember what I had to do. Oh, I had to do the paintings. That's right. Eloise, you but there was a payphone in here. I guess not. How dare Fox. I wanted to check on something, but... All right. Where do we need to go? Gallery Noir. Do the paintings. Let's just look really quickly. Jeanette has asked you to go to Gallery Noir in Santa Monica. Slash the paintings inside. Steal the charity box, would you? I'm not going to steal the charity box. What do I have right now? A decent amount. Uh, I wish I had more experience points. Below a difficulty of 10. What? 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 That's brutal. Oh, it's because he saw me, though. That's why. <laughs> I'm dumb. I want level 3 obfuscate really bad. I want more charisma so I can get my persuasion up because I want to start getting the, I've there's there's something to be said about rushing stats really early in this game because you know obviously the game is meant to be played over a very long course of time and that would give you a lot of uh, you know skill points to distribute later I'm not strong enough to move this What did this do? Uh, hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Your mind shall shatter on the hollowness of your life. It's no, all straight. It can't be. I'm useless. I'm completely useless. In the dark. Glowing fat will ferment your furrows. I just broke his mind. 
Uh, so yeah, obviously having a lot of skill points early in this game is pretty exciting. Um, because it unlocks dialogue options that you otherwise wouldn't see because the game doesn't expect you to have that much stuff until way later. Um, so, all right. So, Kane slays Abel. Kane cursed by God. Kane meets Lilith. Kane's burned by Lilith. And this is the first difficult boss of the game. It does aggravated damage. should do is just use my fists and move so much more quickly. There we go. Experience rewarded three. Look at that. All right. Not bad. What do we want to get up? I don't need manipulation higher because all that does is increase uh, haggle. Same with finance. Hmm. Intimidation, subterfuge also increases my seduction. Ooh, that's an easy way to get big levels up in seduction. I didn't even think about that. Intimidate up. Uh, what else do I want to get increased? Six points. Let's save these three. I'm going to do that. I want another point in seduction. Better says he's made of blood, so you should just be able to drink him. I wish. I don't know if this counts as being in. Am I seen? Yeah. I'm not. Okay, that is a masquerade violation. That's what I thought. Maybe if I wait, there will be people that walk by and they won't see. No, they're getting too close. Darn it. I was hoping I could uh, make do. Hmm. All right, we slashed the things, but did not uh, steal the charity box. Now we can run back over to Jeanette and Therese. Someone needs to make a no licensed music like mod for this game to make it streamer friendly. <laughs> You, what were you thinking? Good question. What was I thinking? You tell me. You thinking? About? The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? I... Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. 
I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! I don't know what your lips are saying. Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes, and I brought you, uh, you ghostly bobble and words, sweet darkness. Excellent! I'll take that. However, there's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. I side with she of the greatest power, command me, Dark Daughter. I smell. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Okay, uh, roses for her when they should be stones, dear Baron. Oh no, um, this is more convoluted than my psyche. I will find her and then we finish this. I'll just say two. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. I'm no longer here. All right, excellent. All right, let's really quickly, can I access her computer? I cannot. Can I access this computer still? Yes, email. Free Santa Monica Spy City. I'm disgusting. I'm not the one that uh, let the Nosferatu touch me. Can't you see that he is trying to tear us apart and take over the city? How could you? And now my gallery, too. I'm going to show you a little something, Jeanette. The sun. La la la. I should look it up. I should look up to see if there is a stream friendly. No license. Music, BTMB, mod. Doesn't look like anyone's made one yet. All right. There we go. Go back to the diner, save the game so that we don't get murdered. Where you going, man? I don't know myself, and neither will you. Your brain does not need to know, or should I ask the donut eaters to come? I'll let you go this time, man. I will leave you, leave and leave you behind. Two experience points. Where are the where are the phones? Where are they? Oh, right here. Hello. I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design, so she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Stop by. We'll take care of this child. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Alrighty. We managed to prevent that from becoming a firefight, so that's a good thing. Hey, baby! Need company?
All right, head upstairs. Okay. Yes! You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Dear of course you weren't. Just like dear. you weren't working with him. Is it any Are different than the way you treated father? Dreaming. Father? Oh, Therese. Sleeping. You poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? From where this hateful quarrel... Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the knight of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say, daddy's little girl. Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Gasp. Both sides need to cease this conflict. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up. Just shut up! Become mute, both mouths. Cease this quarrel. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery, her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. You must both learn to live in the same skin. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. If you could learn to join hands, think of the strength you command. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. The past is a worn garment. Dispose of it. Father Absolutely came home drunk wrong. one day and mistook me for bad. Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Uh, history's shadow need not fall on you both. Die. Why? How will this time be any different? All right. Uh, let's see. What 
must be said. Two sides of the same face cannot live apart. Work together and your power will more, more, more than double. I don't know which one to pick. One or three. What do we think, chat? So work together and your power will more than double. That sucks up to Therese. Two sides of the same face cannot live apart is also... Hmm... I'm gonna pick the the work together appeal to Therese. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction, which is something a pigtailed face painting harlot does not lend very well. Deep you do have a way with words, magic. sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? Dreaming. I mean, murderers are so respectful Sleeping. these days. All right. Um. So this is. Therese speaking. Let's see. Dark one, let the light carry more of the burden. So that's speaking to Therese, but it's addressing Jeanette. More responsibility. So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. White mistress stand not in the way of the Dark One's plans. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous, Die. and you deserve it. Run this house as a family, and you may both unlive another she day. She would stop treating me like a child if she would start behaving like a rational adult. Dreaming. Was there never a time when you looked at each other in the eye? Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times, before we grew apart. You don't really wish to become an only child. I, I never did. No, I guess I don't. Brave. Jeanette, if I were to give, offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tongue? I'll stop, stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me the boomstick, Dark One. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. Uh, we share in the same street madness. Uh, Daughters of Janice, farewell. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince and keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight or we'll have to kill you. So this is the first time I've achieved this outcome with a Malkavian. It was actually hard to do that because I couldn't remember what the dialogue options were and I had to rely on persuasion checks. Um, so that was hard. <laughs> that was really difficult. I couldn't remember how to speak to them. Uh, I managed to save them. Uh, in my first run as a Malkavian, uh, unfortunately, Jeanette, uh, died, quote-unquote. I have seen the squirming on the horizon. The worms are stripping the foulness from the skull of the earth. And it's Bertram Tongue. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? 
Lucent Archangel says, lots of people being Malks lately, those charming lunatics. Yeah, my chat wanted me to do a Malkavian run. I think most of the people online at that point uh, have never played the game before, so I figure, why not? Why not do a Malkavian run for them? It's fun. Uh, look, I finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? It festered in your brain that I looked for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Nasty dude. Nasty dude? Hey. I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? The world is shown to me even when I'm blind. Oh, shit. A Malkavian. I suppose I'll figure out what the hell you're talking about in a month or so. Man, I hate talking to you guys. I always feel like I'm getting an answer to a question I haven't even asked yet. <sighs> oh well. Bertram Tongue, the nasty dude. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. Then you know more than I do. News travels down the kindred grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. Uh, and survive I did. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seek a strange house of wares, so oh nasty dude for the winged one, you know? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Uh... Secrets, sorrow, and sickness. Tell me of the Sabbat. The Sabbat? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not going to say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. Uh, can you get me into this house of wares? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Uh, let's see. Light the way for me, your dudeness. Crimson just made me art for the stream. Thank you, Crimson, for the 24-hour stream. I'll show it in a minute. Wow, fantastic stuff. Stellar. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm, oh my god, 15 experience? Oh, um, that's actually huge. Um. Obfuscate. Hold on, I just want to see what the next level is. Advanced invisibility, you may move freely while invisible. You'll be revealed if you interact with the environment or if you touch containers. Additionally, melee armor will deal double damage. I don't want to touch that yet. Demontation. Uh, sorry, hold on. Causing a heart attack. Have lesser effect on supernaturals. What does this cause? Level 4. Victim goes insane. Attacks at random for 30 seconds. I really didn't use that a lot. The music is so loud in the, this menu. Um, what do I want to invest in? Having higher lock picking is something we actually need. So getting it up to four right now would benefit us pretty greatly. But is there a way? Hold on. Research intimidate. Packing is up if we do wits. Perception, that's just range combat. Let's get lock picking up one more so we can do up to seven. I mean, if we do this, we could get... Oh, no. We need two more to get up to seven. Four. This gets us up to lockpicking six, which is pretty good. Uh, 
Mm hmm. I could get stealth up to three as well. I get finance up to <laughs> increase our haggle. Investigation up a little bit. No. Research and persuasion up to five through scholarship. Oh, scholarship affects persuasion. Hmm, that seems useful to have so that we can start taking advantage of more skill books. Dementation up to five, or up to two. This would be a hefty spend. That's actually pretty good. I want to get computers up though as well get hacking up to five mm. let's get dementation up to two just so that we can survive combat encounters a little bit better well i don't know if i need to do that computer up to three really benefits us too shit <laughs> i don't know what i want to do this is hard let's do uh, I want to save a point. I want to get this intelligence point really bad, too. Let's get computers up to three. All right. That was a good spend, I think. Oh, I left Dementation at one. That's fine. Listen, Archangel says, heard tell that Bertrand was a gigolo, but I think that was a joke. I think that might be true. It's very nice of them to give us this human so that we can refill our blood. Caliber rounds, we'll take some. I think this is just an innocent person. Space and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. Someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts stealing fucking cats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hate it. Colonel put innocent in scare quotes. That was just a homeless person, Colonel. That person did nothing. up here doing a good job taking care of this stuff what did I just pick up what was that ammo probably I don't remember how to actually 
actually I do much, this. Check the shipment tonight. I'm hungry. What should I eat? Order a pizza. Order a pizza. Where are they gonna deliver it, dumb nuts? Thirteen abandoned employees <laughs> for a kill on site hot pants way. I can pick it up. No. No one's going anywhere while we're sitting on this shit. But there's no vending machine or nothing. How about I put a bullet in your gun? That fill you up? Oh, huh? Yeah. Hey, where you go? Yeah. This guy has a shotgun, which I want. Three minutes to get out of here. myself up, Freeze. drink some blood. How dare you? Oh no, I suffered the final death. That's because I fell. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, we can redo that section. That's fine. It's just up here. Silver ring. Excellent. Anything missing from that last shipment? I forgot to look, but I'll do it tonight. Fuck I pay you guys for. This is the big source. <laughs> Goddamn job right or I'll bury you in the desert and find someone who can. Won't happen again. So I'll check the shipment tonight. <laughs> this door.
arm the explosives without them noticing. Uh, Bloss King F says, Morning Toaster holding up well. I'm doing all right. I'm surviving. I need to go over there. Okay, that's where I need to go. Part of my issue is I was a little bit lost. I couldn't see where to go. Uh, let's see. This one more time. I don't know. Who's there? Hey, where you going then? Ah, shoot. Oh. I'm sneezing so much today. My poor allergies. I forgot to look, but I'll do it tonight. Fuck I pay you guys for. This is the big score to do your goddamn job right or I'll bury you in the desert and find someone who can. Won't have it here. So I'll check the shipment tonight. I'm hungry. Let's order a pizza. Alright. Order a pizza? Kill oh. them. Pick up all the ammo I can grab. Why does that voice sound like Patrick from Spongebob? There's a good chance it is Patrick from Spongebob. This what did this place? Oh shit! Is this where I need to be or no? I don't think so. Shit. back and we have a minute to get out of here I think we can do this
have whatever key I need to do that. What is this? up from here. Nope, I survived. Very good. Ooh, what's this do? Ithaca 12 gauge shotgun shells. Excellent. stuck here because I fell down oh dear am I gonna need to no clip no I'll be fine I might need to no clip to jump out of here oh boy <laughs> Sneak out here? No. Oh, no, don't want that. There we go. Oh, I blood buffed instead of uh, obviously. Alrighty. Fire iron knife. Nothing else special though. Alright. Ooh, is that an ammo crate? It is. Nice. Oh. Job well done, I'd say. <laughs> 